hi welcome you all to pebbles in today's class we are going to see fraction max class 6 fraction is the heading fraction is a number representing a part of all the whole may be a single object or a group of object i'll repeat once again fraction is a number representing a part of a whole the whole may be a single object or a group of object what is this fraction is a number fraction is a number representing a part of a whole part of a whole the whole may be a single object or a group of objects that is what the meaning okay fraction is a fraction is a number representing a part of a whole that means fraction is nothing but a part of a whole okay a fraction is a actually is a number otherwise we can call it as it is a fraction okay fraction that means fraction is a number representing a part of a whole okay fraction is a number representing a part of a whole the whole may be a single object or a group of object for example i'll tell you this is a this is a cake okay this is a cake so i'm going to cut into equal halves so this is a single cake okay now i'm going to cut into equal halves so you can get how many parts you can get two parts basically one two okay two parts okay two parts this is a two parts i just cut into equal half then i've taken only one part from this so this is one by two we can say one by two is a fraction fraction otherwise called generally it is we can call it as a rational number is also we can call it as fraction so that is what i'll tell you fraction is a number representing a part of a whole the whole may be a single object or a group of object so this is a single cake after that i cut into equal half so that is what how many parts two parts two equal halves or two equal parts then i've taken only one part from this whole object or all uh, cake so i've taken out only one part so we can say one by two so one is a numerator and two is a denominator that is what a fraction means a part of a group of a region three by four is a fraction three is called the numerator and four is called the denominator see look at this the same object now i cut into four equal parts then I have taken from the whole part, from the whole cake, I have taken how many parts? Three parts from this, okay? So, how do you say it is? So, total number of parts is four, but I have taken out three parts from this, so three by four, okay? Three by four is also a fraction, okay? Three is a numerator and four is a denominator that is what a fraction means a part of a group of a region three by four example is a fraction three fourth is a fraction three is called the numerator and four is called the denominator numerator and denominator can be identified this is a numerator and this is a denominator so one is a numerator and two is a denominator then three is a numerator and four is a what denominator that is what okay and uh, uh, numerator and denominator can be identified for any fraction. So, for any fraction, definitely there are two parts. One is a numerator, another one is a denominator. That is what we can call it as fraction. A rational number, otherwise we can call it as a fraction also. So, here 4 stands for the number of equal parts into which the whole has been divided. And 3 stands for the what number of equal parts which have been taken out that is what i told you four stands for the number of equal parts number of equal parts into which the whole has been divided that means this is a single cake after that i cut into four equal halves so total number of parts we can call it as four that is what they mentioned four stands for four stands for the number of equal parts into which the whole whole cake all has been divided and three stands for the number of equal parts which have been taken out. So, the three remaining, this is one, two and three and four parts. Overall parts is four. This is, this is single cake. After that, what I have done it, I have cut into four equal parts. The total number of parts is four. 
that is what dimension 4 stands for number of equal parts in which the whole has been divided and 3 stands for how many parts have taken out from this cake that is what 3 stands for the number of equal parts which have been taken out that is what ok I think so you understand the basic concept of fractions once again I will tell you fraction is a number representing a part of a whole fraction is a number representing a part of a whole otherwise we can call it as the whole may be a single object the whole uh, an object the whole may be a single object or a group of object this is a single object then after that it what cut into four equal parts then we have taken Oh, 3 parts from this first we have taken only one part that is what we have seen 1 by 2 so in such case so it's the same cake so so it is like this mean it is not cut into equal halves okay actually it is not a fraction okay because fraction means it's cut into equal halves okay equal parts not equal halves cut into equal parts so this is we can call it as a vice. This is cut into equal parts. Then I have taken only one part from this. That means what is the fraction now? So we can say 1 by 4. So total 1, 2, 3, sorry, 3 and 4, totally 4 parts. But I have taken only one part from this. This is a single object, we will next, we after that we will see to the group of objects.